uh, as we head into the end of the week, we start to see the change. Now, tomorrow is also going to be a dry day and also a pretty warm day too. Friday, 50 to 60 percent coverage of showers and storms across the Dallas Fort Worth area. Watch this. This is Friday morning into Friday afternoon and evening. We start to see a breakout of scattered showers and storms across most of North Texas Friday night. So as I said earlier, I know a lot of you have plans, even if it's not Friday night football. Maybe you're just going out for dinner Friday night or just trying to enjoy your evening. Plan around some rain right now. It's all going to be dependent on the timing of this cold front. Then as we head into Saturday, look at the rain chance. It goes even higher as that front starts to approach and eventually it's expected to slow down, if not stall out across North Texas. Showers and storms become more numerous and there will be some heavy rain. Look at this Saturday morning. This is 7 a.m. Getting into Saturday afternoon and evening. The rain just doesn't want to move and there could be a few strong storms south of Interstate 20. But the biggest threat here now when you hear, let me just say this. Let me back up and say we're missing a lot of ingredients for severe weather. That is great news. There are a few there, especially to the south of Interstate 20 uh, areas like Corsicana, Hillsboro, Meridian. Now we could see maybe a damaging wind gust or two this weekend, but the severe threat overall very low. What we are a little concerned about is some isolated flooding. Widespread one to three inches of rain is expected between Friday and Sunday, and there will be isolated higher totals, so stay tuned on that. But it does come with some cooler temperatures.